Emma Hayes has been a revolution for not just Chelsea Football Club, but also for the advancement in women's football altogether. During her 11-year stint in London, she's guided the Blues to 13 major trophies, including six league titles and five FA Cups. With three consecutive doubles in the last three years, she is the most successful manager in women's Super League history. Not only a presence from the touchline, she's been integral to the transition in women's football from being an amateur game to a professional one, and she has spent spearheaded research into health issues such as the effects that the menstrual cycle has on players and the ongoing issues surrounding frequent ACL injuries within the women's sport. All good things cannot last forever though and Hayes' time at Kings Meadow will be no more come the end of the season, setting off for international management with the United States of America. But in her final few games in charge of Chelsea, there's still time for her to make even more history. The quadruple has only ever been achieved once before in women's football by Arsenal in 2006. With Chelsea competing in the semi-finals of the Champions League as well as the FA Cup, they've also condensed the race for the Women's Super League title to just themselves and Manchester City. This group of players now have the chance to write themselves into the history books and give Emma Hayes the send-off that she deserves, and that starts today. The final of the Conti Cup gives Chelsea the chance to make a statement, to start Hayes' perfect send-off in style, and what better opponents to make that mark against than their bitter rivals, Arsenal. The dominant force in England for so many years dethroned by Chelsea over the last decade, but now they have a chance to spoil the party for the woman who overthrew them. This isn't just your ordinary League Cup final. This isn't just a game that will be forgotten by the fans overnight. This is Chelsea versus Arsenal. This is the Conti Cup final. This game will either be the beginning of the perfect end or the Gunners' chance to get the last laugh. Subscribe, ladies and gentlemen, because games like this are not to be missed. I'm late. Happy Easter, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are in Wolverhampton for Chelsea women versus Arsenal women. It's a Continental Cup final. And I'm excited, to be honest. It should be a really, really good game. The streets of Wolves are already overtaken by a sea of red and blue. I can hear the atmosphere coming from the stadium not too far from us. Well, I say us, I'm actually on my own today. This is the first game that I've been to on the channel on my own. And I'm feeling good, to be fair. I haven't really spoken about it properly on the channel, but one of the things that I find when I go to football matches and I'm filming is, of course, I love it. And the process of it is fun. Seeing you guys enjoy the videos is always fun but I do find myself suffering with a bit of anxiety when it comes to it. It's not so much what I'm doing, it's more so not wanting to piss people off around me and just worrying too much about what other people think, to be honest. So today is definitely going to be a test of that, to say the least. But this is one of the things that I like about women's games. It's a very positive atmosphere. It's not to say that it's not the case with the men's, but regardless, we are set for a game with a lot of action. The beginning of the end of Emma Hayes' legacy is intact and I'm confident that Chelsea are going to get the result that makes her proud. Just been walking around around the fan zone outside the stadium and they had a few continental inspired activities. You take a penalty and see how fast your shot was or a little wall we could try and kick footballs into to try and get one top pins and you know obviously if I had a bit more time I would have bagged one in the top pins for you ladies and gents but you know clock's ticking. But it's time for the nitty gritty ladies and gents it's Chelsea versus Arsenal it's a cup final the stakes could not be higher. Can the Chelsea girls do Emma Hayes proud or are Arsenal here to spoil the party? Let's get inside and find out. My uncle Jeff was a Wolves fan and it's quite nice being at the Molyneux because we came here once with him a few years ago and it's it's a nice feeling being back just in his memory. Hopefully the Chelsea ladies can do that justice today and make it a special day all round. But out come the two teams now. It all comes down to this. Will we see extra time? Will we see penalties? The next 90 minutes of football will decide that. The Chelsea end absolutely packed out as is the Arsenal end and the stadium as a whole is very close to being a sellout for this cup final. Credit to all of the fans who have made the travel up here. It's a long old journey from down south, but this stadium is packed. It's a strong lineup from both sets of teams. Emma Hayes opting for Ramirez instead of Katarina Macario. Still no Alicia Russo in the starting lineup. She makes the bench. This is it, ladies and gentlemen, the final of the Continental Cup. Will it be Chelsea's or will it be Arsenal's? Lauren James gets his fixture underway for Chelsea. Lauren James, great skill. 
Chester keeper for the first time this game. Nice football being played by Arsenal. It's a shot from range, not troubling the keeper. The Chelsea away end, absolutely loving life. It's a fantastic strike, worthy of a cup final, and it's Ramirez who smashes the ball past the goalkeeper. And I'd say Arsenal have probably been the better team so far. They are checking for a possible handball though. But take nothing away from that strike because it was fantastic. Let's just see if it stands. And it's been ruled out. The VAR decision is handball. It is what it is at the end of the day. It's what VAR is there for. But it's such a shame. We've got a replay of it now. Oh, come on. There's not much in there. It bounces off Aaron Cuthbert's hand. And the ball bounces forward. But, but does that really take away from the strike that was really just made by Ramirez? The rules are the rules at the end of the day. But still nil-nil, ladies and gents. It's the ball... Well saved from Hampton, it was straight at her. Great strike and tipped over from Hannah Hampton. Fantastic strike from McCabe. Good ball. Defended well. Oh, it's Once again, Arsenal come within inches of putting Chelsea behind. This is the thing, Chelsea have got to be careful. We're not creating enough in front of goal for ourselves. Don't let Arsenal get the quality chances. They've just had two really good opportunities to score in the space of two minutes. We can't let them have that. We've got to be more proactive on the ball. And that's half time, ladies and gentlemen. A disappointing start from both sides to this Country Cup final. Like I say, it's been disappointing from both sets of teams so far. No one really looking to take this game by the scruff of the neck. And I'd say that Arsenal have been the better side so far. They've certainly looked way more threatening when on the attack than Chelsea have. And Chelsea have just given the ball away way too many times. Lauren James hasn't seen enough of the ball to really make a solid impact. And after looking at the Chelsea goal that got ruled out early on in, Fair enough, she controlled it with a hand. She was literally the last player to touch the ball before Ramirez smashed it home. It's just one of those things in football, ladies and gents. But as always, let me know what you think in the comments about that decision. Both teams have got improvements to do in the second half. It's all up to which player takes it in by the scruff of the neck. But we need ourselves a goal to open this game up. We need some entertainment in this game because it's been severely lacking in the first half. That's good ball for a game from Chelsea. Play back. Oh, it's over the bar. Oh, still alive. Oh, and Lauren James hits the side netting. That's better from Chelsea. More balls into the box, more direct with their attacking approach. And play like that is going to get us a goal. Arsenal with a chance. That. And that's a waste from Arsenal. Chelsea bullied off the ball there. Nasser are in. It's a great save from Hampton. Great ball from James. Oh, it's poor. Oh, so is that as well. It's another wasted opportunity for Chelsea. They've got to be hitting the target. It's Lauren James who's in. She can make the right pass. Oh, it's wide. The cutback was there. Lauren James ignored it. It's going to go out for a Chelsea corner. That was a chance to win it, and I can't help but feel like that is going to be rude come the end of the game. And an Arsenal player has gone down. Been down for quite a while now. The stretch is out. It's not looking good. And finally stretched off. It's Manham who sustained the injury, and one can only hope it's not serious. And I thought it would go out to her. And that's full time, ladies and gentlemen. It's still nil-nil still fairly uneventful from a coach's point of view i think both teams have defended well they've been very safe while attacking but from a fan's point of view i am bored it's not been exciting it's not been eventful there's really not a lot to talk about for being honest ladies and gentlemen there's now 30 minutes of extra time or it's penalties i can't see extra time livening up if i'm being honest there's always hope of course there is but it's been very bland so far 
straight into the arms of the goalkeeper. It's the ball. It's a wasted chance. Honestly, the quality of attack and play this game has been absolutely shocking. It's been really unusually poor for these two sets of sides. On the brink of half time, in the first half of extra time now, I really can't see there being a goal. Here comes James. It's a good ball across. Nice pass as well. It's right in. It's all the way through. It's James. Oh. And that's extra time, half time, ladies and gentlemen. Still nil nil. Once again, not really much to talk about in that half. It was fairly uneventful. I'm just praying for myself and for you guys for there to at least be a goal. It's looking like penalties at the moment, though, that I cannot see any team taking the game by the scruff of the neck, finding a goal. It's fairly bleak to watch. Good ball through. And he plays over. They're in here. Straight into the hands of Hampton again. It's good play. No. Arsenal with a chance. And it's in. Right to the death. And the bench and the fans and the players go wild. That's surely the winner with five minutes to go in extra time. It's taken time to see a goal in the back of the net. A one that counts. And Chelsea have not got long to find a goal from somewhere, anywhere. The clock is ticking. Wow, Arsenal have been the better side this game. As I've kept on saying throughout, it's not been pleasant at all for either side. It's been poor, but Arsenal find the back of the net. They break the deadlock and with three and a half minutes to go, Chelsea need a goal to keep themselves in this competition. Stranger things have happened, but I can't see this happening. Appeals for a penalty. I don't see much of the ball being won there. The ref's given a corner. Surely they're going to check that. I mean, there was no contact on the ball, but was there enough contact for it to be a penalty given? I don't know. It's hard. It's tricky. Maybe I'm clutching at straws. I think Arsenal have got lucky there. It's a good ball. It's the last chance for Chelsea now, and it's going to be a corner. There are 30 seconds left. It's now or never. There's no one there. That's surely it. There's five seconds to go on the clock. Maybe time for one more attack. And that's it. Arsenal have done it again. They beat Chelsea in the Continental Cup final. It's not the game that Chelsea wanted. It's not the game that Anna Hayes wanted. But Arsenal, victorious. If I'm being brutally honest, both teams today were poor. The attacking play was not to the quality. That was expected of a final like this. But Arsenal have taken the win today. They win the trophy. And Chelsea have only got themselves to blame. As I say, they were poor going forward. They created nothing really of any threat. Far from the performance that we saw at Stamford Bridge a few weeks ago. And eventually Arsenal got the goal. They made them pay. It could have been anyone's. But Arsenal are the team the world left the trophy today. I'm disappointed. It's gutting to say the least, to be honest, but we, as I said, we've only got ourselves to blame. And you can hear the roars from the Arsenal fans. It's what happens. We didn't take our chances. We didn't create chances. We were shambolic in front of goal. Arsenal won much better that they got the goal that counts. And they've won the final today. And congratulations to them. And those players and those fans are going to reap every second of this. down for these Chelsea players out there today. I can't say that they gave it their all because I know that they've got so much that they could have offered today but didn't. But it's a huge credit to all of those Chelsea fans that are still here now and those that have left for making the journey up today. They've stayed to watch their team until the end and it just wasn't to be. It's not Emma Hayes day today but it's Arsenal's day ladies and gentlemen and they lift the cup.
Congratulations Arsenal in a game of fine margins. They were the team that took the game by the scruff of the neck as I kept on saying and they've won the League Cup final. Look, it was a disappointing game, to be honest. A frustrating performance, a frustrating result, and just not the level of performance that I know that Chelsea can put in. And I think that that's what's so frustrating about today, if I'm being completely honest. When the fans are travelling such a long distance for a cup final, the least you expect is a half decent performance and I don't feel like we got that from Chelsea today and it is frustrating and even with Arsenal as well of course they won but their performance wasn't exactly stellar either you've got to give credit though to Blackstenius for getting the winning goal especially those Arsenal fans were absolutely fantastic today and if the players didn't deserve it the fans absolutely did because I am convinced that they are the best fans in women's football in England they are fantastic so credit to you guys and you know congratulations on your win but for Chelsea it's back to the drawing board we've still got three more competitions that we're competing in obviously the Women's Super League the Champions League and the FA Cup that we can still win silverware in the treble is still alive but it is frustrating that we weren't able to get the result against Arsenal a side that we beat comfortably in the league but at the end of the day like I say congratulations to you Arsenal fans watching if i had to pick a side out of the two teams that we watched today that deserved it arsenal by the skin of their teeth probably deserved it although as i keep on saying neither side covered themselves in glory i am also pleased to tell you guys that frida mamoum who went down earlier in the game is awake and she is talking so that is a massive positive i'll be honest i wasn't entirely sure what happened so as you can understand i've been quite selective with the footage that i've left in the video but like i say it's great news that she is awake she is stable and she is talking that's a most important thing but that's the end of another vlog it's goodbye to not so sunny wolverhampton thank you so much for watching as always ladies and gents i've got a long drive home and an even longer edit to get through made longer by the fact that we lost but it is what it is that's football for you ladies and gents thank you so much for watching as always i will see you in the next one subscribe if you're new take care peace and love <laughs>